Hi everyone and welcome to Southern Motors, Michigan's leading muscle and classic car dealer since 1978. Remember you can always go online and check out our updated inventory at southernmotors.com. Today guys, going to take a look at just a wicked cool 1973 Plymouth Barracuda Resto Mod, complete custom built, rotisserie done, it's body color underneath. Um, it has a complete front and rear gerst uh, uh, tubular suspension on it, uh, late model uh, fuel injected Hemi, 4L60E automatic transmission, all the goodies man, finished in beautiful Viper uh, uh, blue metallic paint, um, I do have, it's PPG paint, everything, we've got all the receipts and stuff like that for the restoration, uh, everything was professionally done, the receipts are in there for it. Um, so I've got a, what, a paint mixture. Um, I think it's 07 uh, Viper paint or something uh, is, is what it read out to be. You can see they got the carbon fiber hood, black interior. Uh, it's sitting on a set of 17 inch uh, chrome Riddler wheels. Wicked, wicked cool car, guys. And recently done. It looks like it was started around 2017 and finished around 2020. Um, very very nice car and i'll tell you one thing this thing's got to be roadworthy I, I, I found this car at a car show tried to buy it from a guy and uh he, he couldn't sell it to me because he had to drive it home i figured heck he was just a couple blocks away now it was three hours away so he drove it to and from the car show and then we hooked up and uh, i got i got the car bought but very nicely uh, nice car uh, if you're looking for a resto mod uh super super cool car very cool body style. I love the carbon fiber hood. These are functional. I'll show you that when we open the hood. Uh, fender mount turn signals work. Pretty, pretty car, man. They've got the uh, carbon fiber wrap front and rear spoilers. Matter of fact, I'll kind of open this for Nathan. You just push these down and it releases the hood pins and then you just lift up there is a secondary latch on it so make sure you uh when you put it down you uh you can go ahead and open it up there um kind of pull it back a little bit because it's got uh, some finished work underneath the hood slick paint dual chrome mirrors i love the striping he did on here it's like a silver metallic stripe with that red Runs and drives excellent. I've driven it a couple times now. It's a little touch up mark there. Um, really hits the road good, man. Nice and tight. Again, with all that suspension stuff, it's like driving a go kart, man. Nice and flat down the side. ZR rated rubber all the way around it. Again, those are chrome 17 inch Riddlers. You can see it's got the CUDA rear balance. And again, drove it three hours of the car show, three hours home. So we know this thing hits the road. You can see the wheel wood, four wheel disc brakes with the slotted and drilled rotors. A lot of money, guys. A lot of money put into this thing. Uh, again, professionally built engine too. This is not a, uh, it's, it's a Gen 357 Hemi in it. Um, it was built by a shop. Yes, the receipts are all in there. Um, if they upgraded the cam, and it wasn't like they just pulled out and just put in the car. They completely went through the engine. Uh, again, updated the cam. It's got the easy uh, TCU fast fuel injection unit on the firewall. You can also see they've upgraded the hinges. It's also got those in the rear. Uh, TTI headers. Um, again, it's got a Gerst tubular front cradle on it. Um, with, and it's got all four corner um, 
uh, adjustable coilovers. It's got uh, rack and pinion steering. Again, wheel wood, four wheel disc brakes. There, it, again, this stuff is all removable. It comes out really easy. He's actually got it Velcroed in, so it's very easy to remove. Your electronics are all under here. Um, he mounted an ACU um, uh, compressor on it. He never actually got it finished underneath the dash. It's, just, well, it's eight weeks. He, he kind of set it up for a vintage AC unit, and it takes eight weeks to get one of the units, and he just didn't want the car down. Um, professionally built. Um, 4L60E automatic overdrive uh, transmission with a 2600 lockup converter. Again, you see it's all body color in the inner fender wells, body color floorboards. Beautifully done, man. Maybe a little scratch there, yeah, underneath there. I'll tell you what, my wife loves this color. And there's not many miles on it since he got the car done. Um, he tried to explain it to me. He, he, he bought the car and it was in the process of, of uh, restoration. And then he finished it. See, it's got good clean door sills there. New sill plates, new carpet. Bucket seats, console, they put the car, they've wrapped it, everything in the carbon fiber. It's got the rally dash. Uh, he says the tack needs the converter. It's still the old style tack. Um, all the other gauges worked. He's showing 63, 821, but like I say, he said there's very few miles actually on the build. It's got the custom uh, audio sounds, radio in it, uh, aftermarket gauges underneath the dash. There's your plug in. Uh, under that kick panel, so if you need a plug in for any electronics, um, any diagnostics, that's where it is. Uh, it's got a, a very nice uh, X pipe Flowmaster dual exhaust system on it. Uh, frame ties yeah, again, Gers four link rear suspension with an eight and three quarter 355 sure grip. Again, adjustable coilovers in the rear, all four corners. They've remounted the uh, battery here in the trunk. You can see. It's all body color, dusty in here, but all the paperwork, I mean, you name it, there is, um, I mean, you name it, it's in there. Uh, he's also put, like, what he's just done as far as what fluids he's running in it, um, so there's no guesswork on what to run it, run in it. They did put, like I said, they mounted the battery in the, um, in the trunk here. Yeah, and it's got the heavy springs on the back, so you have to shut it. nice thing is it stays closed when you open it it, it it pops up for you unlike the old cars where things just kind of fly get very nice underneath guys really cool suspension stuff man and again it drives like a go-kart so are nice they've been definitely repadded refoamed dash pads nice uh, they've got the aftermarket um, overdrive selector in there definitely built to cruise guys electric fuel pump comes on in a second and, uh, and and then turn the key Griffin aluminum radiator what I said when you go to shut this pull this select or the safety latch back just a little bit those pop up just make sure you got it locked down that is wicked cool man beautiful car I love the color 
again, the only thing in there that's not working is the tack you can hear, or in the clock. All the gauges work, and then he's got um, uh, aftermarket gauges mounted below. Blower motor works. Doors open and close real nice. Gauges are all functional, holding good oil pressure. Radio works. Uh, again, blower motor works. Wipers are functional. Again, guys, make sure you keep track of our inventory. You can do that at southernmotors.com. Another great way to keep in touch with us is through our Instagram and our Facebook page. Definitely subscribe to our YouTube page, guys. You can do that by clicking the little button there at the bottom. That way you get a notification every time I post a video. That is a great way to see the new stuff as it comes in.